Shit, I should have primed an arrow. Oh my god, I hit the dead body. Dead bodies are OP. Welcome back to another episode. Uh, we're outside, or we're inside of the Halt of Stream Camp right now. And I did pick up a little bit of iron ore and some mammoth sections of fur, which we can make use of. Uh, we don't really have a lot of carry weight on us, so I think it's best if we just head back to Whiterun and take care of some business. Oh shit, that actually does burn me. Ow. We're gonna go head on back. I might do a little bit of smithing. I kinda wanna upgrade my spear or see if I can even upgrade my spear. I should be able to. Still raining outside. It's actually quite nice. Uh, this inclement weather in White Run. Like with the with the grass swaying in the wind, it looks really good. There's even uh there's even splashes in the water. I don't know if you can see it. It's kinda hard to see. Yeah, we're gonna head straight back to White Run. Then we'll probably pick up uh, a couple more potions. How are we looking on supplies? Oh, we have a potion of healing surpassing. Wow, I didn't even realize. That's a. This is for emergencies. Like. Ah, oh, man. I don't think I have my hockey mod, do I? I don't have my hockey mod. I guess... I could use eye equip. So... I equip, there is the quick restore. I have it on minus right now, which is not easily accessible for me. Because I don't want to accidentally press it and waste good potions. Um... If it comes to an emergency situation, I might want to put it on a better keybind. I don't know what I would put it on, though. I honestly don't know what I would put it on. Yeah, we are. We're gonna check on. Yeah. Actually, we could do this quest real fast. Yes, actually. How about you smith me an iron dagger? Here's everything you Whoa. need. Whoa. Iron dagger. That's a decent weapon. Have you met my father? Not bad, but it's a little dull. How about you sharpen it up? Just need a bit of metal and the grindstone over there. Oh, we're gonna process pelts first. I'll turn one into fur plates and one into leather. I probably <laughs> probably should have took more. Oops. We need to sharpen it. 
All this, get off the grindstone. Okay, that only, that only gives us two damage, not a lot, but I didn't level up any smithing yet, so. I help my father Might make a big difference. This looks. You want to keep helping? How about you make some armor? Oh, the weather cleared up. That was fast. You think all the ca ah? Let's see if you can make a hide helmet. Here's the rest of what you need. Yeah, looks like we can craft iron pikes. Can we make silver pikes? Yeah, oh no, that's a scale pike. Where's the silver? I don't see a silver pike. Damn. I might actually have to fix that. Whoa, these are cool. Oh, these are from, these are from mods. <laughs> don't mind that. I can make a steel pike. That actually looks pretty cool. 97 damage, but we need f four... Four stealing goods? Damn. I'm waiting. I Let's improve the fit. Take this leather to the workbench over there. Alright, I'll just get off the workbench. something you have why don't you keep that dagger and helmet May it's a sword listen good thanks hmm. blades helmets pretty much anything to let's see place. what does she have for sale that's pretty good but we don't need it yet hunting bows enchanted hunting bows so unfortunately, she's not going to sell any of the animated armory weapons because I don't want to add them to vendor list or leveled list yet. Too lazy. So we're going to make it herself. So 12 versus 27 for stealing it. That's actually quite affordable. I might just buy stealing. Oh, what's happening? Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. What's going on over here? I'm overweight. Oh, I'm just barely overweight. You're kidding me. Let's go sell some stuff. I have a lot of things still. I would like to make a steel spear. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Oh, well. oh yeah, we can just sell that back. Uh, we don't really need the pickaxe, to be honest with you. We don't need the poacher axe. We don't even really need a hunting knife, but I'm going to hold on to it. Fifty-eight versus forty-one. What? How is this better? Huh? Definitely not better. That's worth quite a bit. Ah, oh, shoot. I'm not going to sell these yet, though. I want to sell it to her once I do the quest for her. Uh, we don't need that. Actually, oh, shit. We did need that. Shit. Ah, uh, I did need that. Whatever. <laughs> oh, oh, well. Fuck it. Worry about it later. Um, yeah, we're gonna do the quest first before we sell more stuff. Oh, actually, I'm getting, you get to the oh, this is Nazim. What, what am I saying? I thought that was the other Red Guard gentleman. What the heck? Oh, is this guy Van? Ooh! Oh my goodness! I hear a heart beating. That's weird. 
That is very bizarre. Okay, well we got a do we got an amazing item. We got a ring of dwindling magic, 16%. That's humongous. Like That's huge. We could use the um So an alteration, there is a tree called Willpower. This gives 5% magic resist when the magic resistance perk is not taken. So for non-alteration characters, you can still get 15% magic resist for 3 points. Now, I mean, this magic resistance spell, I think it's nerfed to be only 20% at max rank. So it's almost the same without any of the uh, skill investment. I don't know if that's necessarily busted. Maybe it should be toned down to like 12%, but I, I, I you know, I'll, I'll take 15%. Smarts. I figured you had it in you. Nice Shit, I need to, I need to actually edit ESF. I despise ESF because it bugs out 90% of the time for me. Like I do five quests and then it still doesn't give me the thing. So I'm just gonna bring it down to zero. Just to be safe. And then for Thieves Guild, I actually want to join the Thieves Guild on this character. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Thieves Guild requirements. So with this mod, you essentially need to be a thief to join the Thieves Guild. And, you know, for, for role-playing purposes, I like that idea of not being... You know, unless you're, like, a actually... Um, experienced thief Brynjolf's not going to approach you to start the quest but if you play other lists like serenity or even ac like having no requirements for joining thieves guilds means that you can play it as a thug type of character rather than as a as a stealth assassin or a stealth thief um so i kind of like that i like having that option available you can play as a mercenary which is what my character is and be like oh yeah i'll, I'll help with the thieves guild i'm not going to be doing these these sneaky jobs but i am going to be the, the muscle that gets shit done so we're gonna go with that i don't know how far i'll do how far i'll get with the quest oh uh, we'll put one at least one you know radiant quests Usual gems. Okay. Yeah, that, that should be good enough, I think. I hope these actually apply when I'm in-game. I should have configured those settings earlier, but whatever. We're going to get another, don't think I'm smart. another quest. I don't know. I just need no more than that. I can handle Try that. Not to get carried away. Oh, HOD. Wow. That, that'll be easy. We can go to Riverwood. Uh, is there any business? I don't think there's any other business I have here. I could train two-handed. Oh, I need to level up perks. I need to level up skills, rather. So, we can level up two-handed more, but what I want to do is level up evasion to 25. And then, I think we either put points in marksman, or we put points into smithing. Right, we're gonna, we'll, put, we'll put points in smithing. We'll put it up to 25. these percentages are for oh it's probably for the exp which is going to be a zero because i don't have any vanilla exp anymore um, so that's at 25 and then we could just dump the rest into two-handed maybe put some in marksman i actually am thinking of you know using marksman so i can take out the archers and mages but if i go into two-handed i don't quite need marksman for that much things there, there's definitely a, a few things where marksman will help out early on we could put a perk point in, in sneak that's why to get use out of marksman for sneak attacks um but it's gonna need a lot of i'm gonna need a lot of sneak to make it worth yeah i don't know i don't want to spread out my stats too much early on we're gonna go to two-handed just to be safe And that's a level. 
So we're going to put one point in health. We're going to go equal parts health and stamina, I think. At least for the early game. And then probably once we have like 250 stamina, we'll just go full health. So we have another perk point. Um, I want to look at the smithing trees. Son of a bitch. We could have done advanced light armors if I wasn't a freaking idiot and sold my skill. Actually, I, I think I can get one from Ember Shard, so we should be okay. Yeah, we should be okay. I'm gonna hold on to the perk point. Actually, I'm not. We're gonna spend it on... We're gonna just use it on damage. Or evasion. So this gives me more power attack damage. I think 17% more power attack. 15, 15, 17%. Pretty significant amount. So our power attacks hit very hard. I'm gonna head up. Take a little cinematic look of White Run. And those those distant trees look awful. Not gonna lie. Uh, happy little trees looks a lot better for the distant ones. But I think up close, um, like especially when we go to River Riverwood, um, you guys are going to see that the trees from Nature of the Wildlands just look absolutely incredible. Where the heck is that light coming from? Come to I'm going to talk to Fangar. Um, He's a little quest ah, for Arcadia, which we can do. Good. You're clearly better suited. Free potions. Then we can look at his stuff. Peerless Magica. 4,500. That's expensive. How much does that give? 60. 60 Magica for fur bring. That's pretty good. Um, we don't need any of these. I don't We're not going to need any of these. Oh, I want to sell my stab, stabs. I don't need Ice One stabs. Fuck that. We could sell Wabajack. Make some big money early. But, oh man, we could make... So much money off selling Wava Jack. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, that's pretty disgusting to just start the game with like 17k. Uh, we're not gonna do that though. I'm gonna hold on to this. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the major college. I serve Ventus. Jarl Bald from Adrian. Ah, thank you. Please take these few coins. Your service is ready. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. So now we have a little bit of favor with um Adrian, and we can get a little bit better prices. We could actually give the uh, the homeless some money for more speech. What the hell? Yes. Uh. All right then. Uh. Tired of Redmond Street. Had enough. Not really sure what's going on there. Yes. No, that's not. Cool. I want to talk to Brennan. I ain't done nothing. Oh, thank you. Divine bless your kind heart. So now I get the gift of charity, which if we look here, I don't know what it does actually. <laughs> it does not say what it does. The finest cuts, fresh from the wilds. Okay, this beating heart noise is irritating me. Three speech, not a lot. Better than nothing though. If I, if I disable this, will it disappear? Oh, thank God. Yeah, sorry about that. I had to disable that to make that beating heart noise disappear because that was kind of irritating. I wonder if that was the vampire that needed to be hunted. It might have been. Pardon me, but do I detect a case of the rattles? Ah, oh, but I suppose you expect some compensation. Okay. Hello, friend. Some fortify. Take a look. Those are good. Fortify pots are good. Definitely need more of those. Fortify health deficient. So you can see, like, they actually cost a little bit more, but they fortify health for a much longer duration. It's really obnoxious how short the duration is for fortify health pots in Vanilla Requiem. Like, you would get, like, oh, plus 20 health, but for 60 seconds. Like, wow, what a 
fucking waste of my time. So this is worthwhile. I might actually just buy one right now. Just to, definitely gonna need some. Um, I don't see any fortify two handed potions. Those would, those would be really good to have. We can buy some poisons, perhaps. Yeah, we'll we'll buy a poison. It should be multiple uses. It's not gonna be the greatest, but it shouldn't be half bad either. And then a potion of regen. And tonic of stamina. It's about a grand I dropped. We don't need these potions to carry away since we have our explorer potions, so we can sell that. Sell that. Fortify marksman. I might I might hold on to that. I might need that. Uh, Magicka, we don't need. And then yeah, the rest of these are good. This is kinda useless. I don't think I'll ever need this. These are pretty much the same, so I'll just sell that one for now. Vampire dust? Oh, we can sell that. And then a mammoth dust? We'll sell one. We and we'll give the other one to Yasoda. To get some EXP and level up speech. I don't know if it'll level up our speech, actually. It should. Do I, do I have the class even? Oh, I do. Perfect. Where is she? Is that her? Yep. Hey there, Yusoda. Once I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit caravans, I'm going to buy the bannered mare from Holda. Here's your mammoth tusk. This should turn that old cat's gaze. As promised, let me show you a thing or two about bargaining. Don't want some shifty merchant giving you a raw trade. Okay, so it doesn't give me the skill XP, but I still get the EXP for completing the quest. Uh, that's okay. It could have been better, but that's okay. Take a look. We're gonna sell that. Then now we can sell this jewelry for some good money. And we don't need an elven sword. We're gonna sell that. We don't need all these iron arrows. I didn't realize I was using silver arrows when I was shooting them. I would love, oh man, an elven bow. I would love to have an elven bow. Or even an orcish bow would be good too, just for the damage, for like a sneak attack. Um, but we're gonna just buy the materials we need. So it was four steel ingots, and then one more iron ingot, I think. Should be enough to make a steel spear. No? Am I crazy? Oh, I need one more. Forgot. You're someone who can get things. Oh wait, done. I can I like forge it. them, I'm trolling. Oh damn, it takes five. Okay, we got ourselves a steel pipe. Nice little upgrade. Oh, it looks better. I think it looks better. It's not shiny. I wish it was shiny. Like I had a better cube map. This is fine though. It's very, uh, very much the same feel as vanilla. Vanilla Skyrim. We'll buy one more steel ingot so I can temper this. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Don't forget to check inside the ship. Oh, nice. We're at 100 damage. Perfect. So, this is going to be doing some pretty good damage. Probably not nearly as much as, like, a greatsword. Let's let's take a look, actually. Let's go a comparison. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? So, oh, man. A Dwarven Warhammer does 218 damage. That's gnarly. So, an Iron Greatsword is 126. That's more than our Steel Spear. Um, but, again, it doesn't have the reach and the speed of the spears, so... I think that more than makes up for it. Yeah, we're good. Thanks for the business. Uh, I'm gonna drop off some shit into a barrel that I can loot. I'm just gonna leave. We don't need this stuff. 
We can come back for it later. I don't know why they leave you with Pelagius' hip bone. That shit's useless. Uh, I'll hold on to the bedroll. It's only two pounds. And we should be good to go. I could definitely put some money away, but we can put that in the horse. Actually, I should have put I should have put the crafting materials into the horse. Ah, whatever. Fuck. So I guess I guess we'll head to Riverwood so we can fight Hod. And then, um... Put that away. Just pop the jack away. Put that away. We don't... We are not that weak. I say that, but then, oh man. When I die, it's gonna be because I didn't have Wobba Jack. Put away most of our money. And the ancient text as well. Okay. So we're at 80 carry weight, pretty good. I can't I can't unsheath my weapon. Oh, because I didn't have a weapon equipped, that's why. There we go. I just like watch or looking at myself uh, with the spear out. Pretty badass. I didn't loot that giant. I wonder if I had giant toes on it. We're gonna head straight to White Run. Fifty-two p.m. So it's actually getting dark soon. This is the sun setting, not the sun rising. running. Okay. Just, just a few animals that needed to be taken care of. I feel like the regular walking animation is a little wobbly. <laughs> it looks a little bit wobbly. Um, looks a little bit janky. I like the regular one though. We've made it to Riverwood. We're gonna get off midnight. We're gonna go inside and pick up the quest. I don't know. I have to look into uh, how to craft a silver pike because I saw this. I saw some other silver weapons. So if I can make a silver pike, we can try doing some draugr early on. I would like to do them early on. Peerless blocking. Ooh, that's expensive. That's a quite fucking expensive. This guy's charging way, way more, way higher prices. Jesus. Okay. 
uh, yeah, an ornament. I could help you get the claw back. I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw. We're gonna ignore Camilla because I don't care. Actually, uh, maybe we'll do the quest first. Where's Fandle? There he is. Hey, Fandle. Did I see you talking to? Oh shit, dude, he looks jacked. Beautiful woman like her wouldn't fall for that nonsense. He looks so cool. I hope. I don't need your. Could you? Could you give her this letter? Tell me as soon as you've given Camilla the letter. This way. Or what? Why that? Thank you for telling me the truth. Oh crap! You should speak to I just ratted out Fandle on accident because I wasn't paying attention. Whoops. Sorry, Fandle. Ah, I really trolled too because he trains up marksmen. Oh my god, why did I do that? I'm just. Just been rushing things a little bit too much. Fandle thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away. Now that's what I like to hear. Good work. I think you deserve some gold from my tips. Actually, I wonder. This guy has any, any bounty. Damn. You got a worker's bow? We got rooms and take a look. He does sell beef stew. We'll buy one. They say a dragon. It. We've got something of a love. Word is, Ulfric Stormcloak escaped from the. Welcome. Let we actually go could go over to. Mug around here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Helgen, if we wanted to. We still got beef stew for another eight minutes, so we can clear out uh, Ember Shard. That'll be easy, or it should be easy, assuming I don't fuck things up or run into a trickster. A stacked trickster. Where's Hod? He should be at the mill. Burger. There's Hod. Oh, I've been yeah, sent to resolve a dispute. Let's go. I need to come over here. Let's see what you're made. Ow. Ah, that didn't do shit. Wait, get out of the way, kid. Get the fuck out of the way. I don't know why it's so laggy. Oh my god. Get out of the way, Dorth. <laughs> we headbutted each other. You know what you have to do. Okay. That hurt a little bit. So we got that out of the way, and... We're just gonna go straight to Ember Shard. Pop a healing poultice. Look at that. The sun looks a little bit odd shining off from there because it's being obscured by the trees, but look at these look at these freaking trees, man. They look great.
decided to use the bow we have because I really haven't been using it. I don't know why it says that I don't have a helmet. Do I not have a helmet on? No, it's just trolling me. Trolling me for literally no reason. Okay, we're just gonna go straight into Ember Shard. Clear it out. I don't think we need to prepare, but let me just check my hotkeys real fast. We'll put this on 8, just to be safe. I'm, I, it should be impossible for me to accidentally press 8. I say that, but... Who knows? Ooh, that was kind of close, actually. Having the dodge, the TK dodge, kind of makes bow OP because I don't need Ranger to avoid melee attacks. But, you know, it's something that is pretty easy to fuck up, and if you fuck it up, you die, so. Yeah, I, I do think that permadeath balances a lot of things, such as like mages being OP, just because if you make a mistake, then you're punished severely for it, so. It's not like it's that much better than just using pure melee, where. I have more control over my actions in melee in the terms of like being able to bash cancel enemies and block, but not as much late game power scaling. It's definitely gonna hurt that my character's not really doing magic. Um, shit, I should have primed an arrow. Oh my god, I hit the dead body. Dead bodies are OP. That power attack, that's the E-Skyrim power attack. Um, I don't want to show it again, but it basically has two hit frames where it's a charge in, a stabbing thrust into a, like a circular spinning swing. Um, so that has two hit frames, but it does cost double the amount of, of, of stamina. You know, some people might think that that's broken because I basically can power attack twice really fast. Like the second one comes out really fast compared to regular power attack. Um, but you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't argue that much against it because it does cost literally extra, like double the amount of stamina, so it's very risky to use if you miss or if you get bashed out of it. I timed that. Okay. Head on up. Short work of this gentleman. Oh, I need the key. And we'll take the spell tomb here. Ooh, wow. These would be really useful depending on the situation, but not good for this character, unfortunately. Unfortunately. We're gonna just run this gentleman down. Gonna 
run from the archer. I do feel like, I don't know if it's Sky, Sky SA or what, but like sometimes my power attacks don't even stagger, even if they're blocking. It should stagger them through a block, that's why, normally. I'm kind of worried about this guy. I don't know if it's Crossbowman or not. Do they not know where I am? It doesn't look like it. Oh no! <laughs> they, they knew. They fucking knew. Okay, well, fortunately, I didn't get one shot by that because we have 195 health. <laughs> like, if we were squishy and we only had like 100 health, I would have got one shot by that. Um, but, you know, it was a light crossbow, so we can tank the hit. Um, that was very odd, though, how she just kind of didn't really know where I was. Could have been dangerous, but fortunately we made it through that in one piece. And yeah, that was pretty easy. Here's the book to scale armor, so that's why I wasn't f totally freaking out about it because I knew we had that. We can uh, we could take some iron ingots. I don't really, I don't have a need for iron ingots though at the moment. I don't remember if I can like dismantle leather equipment on this list or not. I think I, can. I think that is just requiem. healing I'll use one potion of healing deficient maybe or do I have I have the healing pulse still active uh, fuck it I'll use this because I want to be able to open up the chest oh yeah see I need more health and stamina should be enough. No? Son of a gun. What is my health at? 138. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, the food wore off. That's why. We're gonna eat a beef stew. That nah, now it should be enough. There we go. Very important. Beef stew for that max health. That's actually partly the reason why I took the uh, Stone of the Steed. I could have took the Lady Stone, and I would have also got health from that, but... If I take Stone of the Steed, I don't have to worry about stamina at all. And then I can use my food for essentially health and carry weight, which is pretty nice. And if we really want to load up on stamina, like we can just use the stamina food and then I can spam power attacks. Which deal massive damage. Oh, it's nighttime already. It's quite dark. I actually can't see a thing. Oh, shit. Okay. Fortunately, we annihilated the wolves because I can kill them in two hits now. I'm actually really salty. I just ate my food, forgetting that it was nighttime. I kind of want to make use of our buffs, so we're gonna we're gonna fight at night, which is a little bit suboptimal because the darkness actually makes it harder for me to see things. It doesn't make it harder for NPCs to, to see things, though. That's that's kind of the worst part about things like thick grass or tall grass and shrubbery these visual obstructions make it harder for you to acquire your targets but because you know because ai or ai it's like they don't give a fuck so 
Hold on, I actually have to close blinds, so give me one moment. Okay, now I can actually see. I, I hope the video quality is okay. It's pretty dark here. Yeah, it actually might be a little too dark for the video footage, but we'll see. So we have we have 195 health. We can do this. Assuming I don't make any crazy mistakes. I hear fighting. I don't know where that's coming from though. We're gonna run these gentlemen down. You went running from me. There's someone fighting over there. What is going on over there? Oh, my horse! My horse is under attack from a spider! Shit. Oh, it's almost dead. Huh. That's... Oh, it's not dead. Fuck. Okay, now it's dead. Oh, my horse is okay. I wonder, what was that spider fighting? It had to have been fighting something. Jack Venom. I don't know why, but for some reason the spider venom does no damage. Could be because I don't have any alchemy. I don't know. I actually really don't know. This is a one-handed skill book. Not very useful for us, but we'll take it. We want to loot him because he's got the treasure map. I guess, you know, we'll, we'll take some of this hide stuff. I don't know if I can scrap it for leather, but if I can, that would be nice. That's a lot easier than harvesting wolves. Because that, that takes too much time for me. I want just the raw materials. I don't know what's up with that delay to ride a horse. Actually looks quite nice. But if you don't know, there's this tallow shrine over here, which actually looks awesome right now. This looks pretty cool. Um, and I don't know what kind of battle happened over here, but, you know, a Thalmor agent came by, swinging. Ooh. Damn, son. And yeah, we can loot this stuff for free. It's a really good shield that I can't use. Oh, wow, and an amulet of Tal Talos, too. Whoa, that's really good. Free amulet. Oh my god, a dwarven dagger just... These guys are stacked for no reason. I've got no idea why. Oh my god, an orcish mace! Like, what the heck? <laughs> Whoa. I'm not really a big fan of orcish weapons though in three tweaks. They uh deal... They have way higher base damage, but they deal reduced damage against armor. Like, increasingly reduced damage against armor. Is that Talzgar? Guess so. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do now. We're about 48 minutes into recording, so I might just call it here. Not, I mean, not the most interesting episode, but we did make a lot of progress in terms of gear. I mean, we got our steel pike. We have, you know, this ruby ring of dwindling magic that we stumbled upon. 
Got some pretty good stuff. Oops. I think I think we might call it here, and then I'm gonna go look into what I need to make a silver pike. And if we can get a silver pike early on, you know, perhaps I'll do a Draugr dungeon. We could just fight bandits. We might just fight bandits in the open with the horse. That'll be fun. I think that'll be a lot of fun, actually. Yeah, we can do that. So, white, or not white river watch. Let's do Valheim Towers. Let's do Valheim Towers. Calvary, Calvary Rider versus Valheim Towers. How does that sound, guys? I think that'll be exciting. So, that'll probably be the next episode. Assuming uh, I can manage that. But yeah, we're gonna head. We're gonna head on over to back to White Run, sell some stuff, complete the quests, and then hopefully take on Valheim Towers. So hope you guys enjoyed. Not not a lot of combat. There was more so just kind of doing business and stuff. But I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.